Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. Hello, everybody. It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over a few things. First off, guys, we do have the full 20 person list golden ticket list of all the confirmed golden tickets now this isn't just like all the confirmed like it is all the golden tickets this is the list that pretty much gives us the entire master list of what to expect from the golden ticket drop players and positions as well which is kind of cool because a lot of players that were on the list were out of position so if you don't specify that you may not know if they're at their natural position or they're out of position right now as well guys we have the final week of ltds final ltd drop ever for this uh for this madden uh oh thursday ltd drop right we may still get promo ltds as well as the uh the final upcoming madden stream is coming pretty soon guys so i'll be we'll, pretty soon we're gonna have the final good morning madden live stream for the rest of madden 21 which pretty much insinuates the end of end of madden 21 right like we might we're still gonna get our draft stuff we're still gonna get this other stuff but i don't know how much more we'll get are we gonna get the space program we're we gonna get summer blockbuster are we gonna get any of that because that'd be really upsetting if we didn't but um let's get to the ltds guys now before we do hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell Give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what's going on, guys. Uh, if you guys need coins, head over to Muck Coin Bank down below and use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Now, let's get to the LTDs. Let's check out what we got for this final week of LTDs. Let's see if they're up on the block. I see Zadari Smith. He is one of them. So, Zadari Smith kind of sucks, though, because Zadari Smith did just get confirmed a 99 overall golden ticket. And now he has a 99 LTD powered up chemdup, right? So, what does he guys got? 91 speed, 94 excel. That's decent. Strength is 90, tackle is 97, play rex 97, block shed is 97, power moves 98, finesse moves 92. Now, he's actually a really good pass rusher for this specific reason. If you power him up and chem him up with run stuff, he will have 99 power move and 99 block shed, which a lot of guys don't always get double. So, he's going to get both. And then he'll also get to 94 speed and 95 excel. So, he's going to be one of the better pass rushers in the game, which does actually mean, guys, his golden ticket could be crazy. His golden ticket could go crazy, right? Now, if we check the back of the card, anything here that could be interesting for a golden ticket, right? Change of directions to 75. That's that that can't be touched, I don't think. Impact blocking is a 95. What's his zone looking like? His zone coverage is 75. So this is where it gets interesting. Watch this. On his golden ticket, right? They could choose to boost his zone coverage. Now you end up with a guy with potentially, if you boost his zone coverage with lockdown, you could probably get him up to close to like a 95, 99 zone coverage. Um, you know, not well, 90 to 99, anywhere between their zone coverage with a 98 hit power powered up and chemmed up with potentially 99 block shed with potentially 99 power move this could be like the ultimate outside linebacker and his speed on the golden ticket probably is ticked up maybe like one more so maybe gets like a 95 uh chemmed up and powered up so this card could be ridiculous right it has the potential to be ridiculous as a golden ticket but next guys we have our next ltd now this ltd is actually probably a lot better considering it's raheem mostert probably gonna have 99 speed here yep 99 speed powered up and chemmed up but let's start with the other stuff um 98 speed raheem mostert 97 excel 96 agility 95 carrying 77 catching 96 change of direction 93 trucking i'm sorry 83 trucking and 97 break tackle so as per usual guys you're getting a speed demon now the issue with mostert at this point in the year is that we pretty much almost every running back like before mostert was cool because while everyone else had like well-rounded really good stats mostert would have like a speed plus one or two on everyone else so it was like you know, maybe I'll sacrifice the trucking and the catching or some of the strength, right? Or the height or the weight because I'm getting that extra burst of speed. But now everyone, almost every running back can get to 99 speed, 99 excel. So he's really not a standout anymore. So that's the only thing that kind of sucks with getting a monster 99 at this point. Like you can go with the new MJD, the new Reggie Bush, uh, any of those other new running backs or Kamara and just go ahead and be like, okay, so he, they have the same speed, the same change of direction and break tackle, but they have better catching, route running, and potentially trucking. And they may even have more strength, right? That's kind of just the thing with running backs right now. He gets 99 juke, though. That's pretty good as well. 97 change of direction. He's not a bad card. He's still a really good card on a 49ers theme team. He'll be absolutely crazy. Um, again, you're not going to really care for the speed boost, though, which is going to suck. You know, you can't really look forward to that anymore as well. But, uh, yeah, guys, moving on from that, let's head over to the golden ticket list and the final updates. All right, guys, so for the first part of the list, guys, we have the golden ticket player starting mostly on the offensive side, right, is what it seems. Oh, no, there's some offense on the other page, but we got... Robert Griffin the third guy so RG3 is returning again this year as another golden ticket we got one last year I remember Dom I believe created him I don't remember if he created him or helped create him but he one, so one of the above but um Robert Griffin the third okay so I'm gonna go over the ones that I like okay so Robert Griffin the third check I like it some I'm gonna tell you guys I don't like but I understand why right Robert Griffin the third 
I like it. Good card. Hopefully, they give him a red, uh, sorry, Washington football team jersey. James Morgan. I don't like it, but I know why they did it. It's supposed to be like a thrown meme. So, from a YouTube content, fun perspective, entirely get it. Not going to knock it. Derek Carr. I don't, I don't really like it. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a fan. Uh, Tim Tebow. I like it. That's a good one. I think that's going to be a really fun one. Ryan Tannehill. I don't really like it. You know, it is what it is. We have plenty of quarterbacks of that nature with that mid-tier speed, good throwing. I mean, it's just like kind of another quarterback. Um, Taysom Hill, don't really like it as well. Not, Never been a fan of those gadget-type madden S players as in terms of golden tickets. Ezekiel Elliott, I like the name, but I'm scared that EA may not even give him a 99 speed. I mean, of course, with sprint and everything, you could probably still get it, but I feel like Zeke hasn't really played well in Madden as of recently. Benny Smell Jr., I really don't like it. I mean... He was a backup running back. Uh, I mean, maybe even a 1A, 1B tandem with James Conner. I really don't like it. Must have been a Steelers fan. I mean, I get why they do it. I just don't like it. Grant Delpit, I actually really like that one. Six foot three, hard hitter, good block shed. Gonna, gonna have about everything. DK Metcalf safety, I like it. So on this first page, I like Robert Griffin. I like Grant Delpit. I like Metcalf and I like Tebow. So that's like four I like from the first page. So those aren't horrible, but I feel like in years past, I've liked like a majority of golden tickets so far. It's a little more iffy this year. As moment to the next page, guys. Starting off, we got the wide receivers. We got AJ Brown. I don't really like it. He's only six feet tall. And the kind of, you know, the thing is with golden tickets, sometimes the point of them is to get these crazy players, right? Like Brian Finneran or Harold Carmichael. Get those six foot eight guys that weren't that good at the time, but you turn them into a monster. Like six foot eight with 99 speed with five ability slots with um, boosted stats where they weren't too good at like route running. That's kind of what these golden tickets have always been known for. This year seems more like just kind of like a, a personal pick, which again, you got the golden ticket. No knock your personal preference like Jalen Rager okay I mean I really couldn't judge what this card's gonna be like based on his low overall cards uh Brandon Ayuk I mean it seems like we went with three decent like decently decent sized wide receiver that are young you know rookie sophomore third year kind of a thing so I mean it is what it is there I don't really like any of those receivers personally Mike Evans cornerback gonna be good but he's just kind of played out like you know we've had that like a lot already I'm kind of used to that one already Jim Thorpe cornerback the only thing going for him is really the hip power so far I really don't like any on this page Jimmy Smith uh, cornerback as well. Just a, an average, gonna be an average Ravens S corner. I mean, decent, not, not, not a fan. Derek Robertson, again, I get why the guy did it. I'm pretty sure he's related to him. So that's actually super cool of him to use his golden ticket on a family member. So again, will the card be good? Pro uh, by the way, all these cards are gonna be good, right? Like every card on all these, by the way, are gonna be good. It's a matter if I like the name. Not that that really matters, but to me, right? Uh, Zadari Smith, actually, wasn't feeling it at first, but based on what we saw earlier in the video, he's gonna be a beast. Gonna be a good one, not a bad one. Robert Woods tight end, gonna be one of the best ones, probably. Again, not a fan of the name, but you're gonna have a wide receiver at tight end, right? With 99 speed, and if you boost up his run blocking stuff, you're gonna have a, you're gonna have a goon. Montez Sweat, gonna be super good. Gonna get close to probably like 99 speed, 96, 99 speed. Gonna be great. Overall, guys, these golden tickets are gonna be all good, right? Don't let's not forget that. They're all gonna be beastly, they're all gonna be good cards. It's more a matter of whether or not will they be meta cards, right? Like a Mike Evans, like let's say, okay, Jalen Rager, is he gonna be? A, is he gonna be a golden ticket? Is he gonna have 99 stats? Yes. Is he gonna be six foot five with 99 speed, 99 catching, and 99 run block? No. You know what I mean? Like the point of golden ticket isn't to create because uh, we're getting 99 overall cards. We're getting LTDs. We're getting cards that are 99 overall. We get. We just got 32 of them right for draft night. We get those cards. We want cards that. Like, like Super Saiyan, right? That precede the 99, right? Like, that are, they go that one step further that make them, like, must-have cards. Like, a Jalen Rager 99 may not be any more uh, desirable than another 99 receiver. Harold Carmichael, 6'8", or whatever, at 99 speed with boosted route running now, boosted run blocking, that can do everything Rager can do, but he's 8 inches taller. Is like, huh, you have to have that card in your team, right? That's kind of what I like about Golden Tickets. But besides the point, guys, definitely going to be interesting. I can't wait to see how these stats are boosted. Again, they're all going to be good. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm just hating, but... They're all going to be really good. Again, my favorites, RG3, Tebow, um, Metcalf, and Delpit. And here I like Sweat, Woods, Smith. Derek Robeson I just like because it's a family thing. That's kind of cool. And then um, that's probably it on this page. I mean, Evans is going to be good. I mean, they're all going to be good, right? But that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're into the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know which one's your favorite golden ticket on here. And if you happen to know who or if you happen to have made one of these, let me know below. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.